software delivery shouldn't feel like a never-ending battle of errors, delays, and complex pipelines. But what if there was a smarter way? Meet Harness, the AI-powered software delivery platform that makes CI, CD effortless, secure, and scalable. In today's video, we will walk you through how to use Harness to accelerate your software delivery, minimize risks, and deploy with confidence. Whether you're a developer, dev, ops, engineer, or even an IT leader, Harness makes software delivery seamless. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that you should do is to visit the official website, which is going to be harness.io. From here, you have two options on the top right corner. You can contact the sales professional if you want to get no more insights. But I highly suggest you click the get started. Why? Because this is a perfect opportunity for you to try and test the platform by signing up using all of these accounts. You can use your Google, your GitHub, or you can use your LinkedIn and a lot more. But if you want to sign up using your business or working email, you can also do that. And then from here, you need to choose your starting use case. Is it going to be continuous integration, continuous delivery in JOPS, code, feature flags, and a lot more? We're going to use the first option, which is continuous integration, so we can start to build and test with any language on any platform. All we have to do is click the Get Started button, and you will be forwarded to the main homepage. All right. So you would notice once you are on the homepage, you would easily notice it's a straightforward, intuitive platform that can help you automate any CI or CD, which stands for continuous integration and continuous deployment, feature flags, cloud cost management, and security settings. Of course, you have the overview. It's a dashboard that provides a high level of your projects, wherein you can display recent development, builds, and pipeline executions. It also gives you the success failure rates of deployments or any active issues or errors that needs attention. You have the pipelines in the left side wherein you can create a pipeline. There's going to be a drop down menu. You can import from JIT or if you click this plus button, you will be forwarded to enter the name. For example, how to use harness. Okay. So you can have a description right here. If you want, there's going to be a pencil icon. You can create a tag here. You have two options. Do you want to set up your pipeline as inline or remote? We're going to use the first one, or you can start with a template. If you don't have any template, all right, go for the all account right here. Create a new template, say, for example, step. All right, let's do that. And maybe this. Click on start. I'm going to click a logo here and then click the start button. Now on the build, you can search for the step library. You have all of these options. You can create the run, test intelligence, build and push ECR. So you have all these. But of course, for now, we're going to be testing the plugin here. And that's going to be that. All right. So there's an option for the third party artifact registry. All right. I have to just provide that. For now, we're going to click on the save button. You need to choose the harness. Click on save. Now, the next is going to be the build section. We're going to leave this uh, page for now. The build is a section that handles continuous integration or CI where code is compiled, test, and packaged. You can create a run or create a pipeline. We have already done that earlier, right? So. Now on the build section, again, you have the run, my builds, or the status. You can create automated testing here, like runs unit, integration, and security test. All I have to do is create a pipeline successfully, click the run, and you would be able to store built files like Docker Hub, Nexus, or JFrog. The get started section is something that a beginner friendly section that helps a user set up harness, all right? It's free with credit card validation. We're not going to do that. If you are comfortable providing your credit card, you can do that. 
and just click the continuous button and you can run your pipeline locally all right and click the get started button if you don't want that if you're not comfortable just go to the project settings basically this is a section where you can manage all of the settings specific project to harness yeah you have an option to configure pipeline and workflows you see there's our connectors delegates discovery environments and file stores for example we're going to be clicking the connectors you have all these wherein you can view and edit pipelines you also have an option to store api keys and credentials securely all right so what are connectors i'm not going to do with that right now go back to the home page for the webhooks if you want to create a new webhook you need to provide the name for example this is it gonna be generic slack or jet now click on add so we have already created a webhook which is a useful option to store api keys and credentials securely now for the account setting it's very it's a very straightforward process or information here because it controls settings at the user account level right like for example user preference for notifications ui themes linked account if you have like jhub jlab or jira and of course it provides the billing details if you have acquired a paid plans obviously the bottom part corner is going to be the help section we're going to go here in continuous organizations right here and then there's the profile overview if you want okay organizations right here if you want to create a new organization you need to provide and select the default projects for that for example you have all these you have the admins if you want to add a collaborator so this is going to be a link invite people select a role you have you can give them an access level like admin editor or viewer only now let's close that and there's going to be a three dots more icon here where you can edit and invite collaborators all right you can tag and you have an option again to invite collaborators sim similar to the options earlier now the these are going to be some of your options for continuous delivery and jet ops feature flags continuous error and as you can see the moment you get familiarized deploying automating and optimizing your software delivery it's going to be a lot easier from here on when you harness the power of harness right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching again you can simply go to the official website for harness if you think this is going to be the platform for you see you in the next video